what's up? Thank you for coming. Even though I shouldn't be coming back. So this fool left you on the curb? I asked him to leave. It's important that I talk to Kevin because, you know, that's where I'm paroling to and that's my address. And, you know, if I'm not there, then that could be a violation. And I don't want that. Good, you should have made a bitch ass leave. All I wanted is for you to have a great day your first day out. I know, babe. Well, you ready to get the out of here or what? Yes. So I'm ready to get back to the town. And I really just can't believe this, man. I'm sorry. You want to hug me, too, now? Yeah. I couldn't even get a hello earlier. I know, and I'm sorry. I have no clue why I'm with Tiffany at this point. Here she is with the puppy dog face. Now she want to give me a hug. Now she want to call me babe. What is it? Now, now boy get laid out? Now I'm cool? I never wanted to, like, end things with you or anything like that. I just wanted, like I said, time to get out and process everything without being even more stressed out. I just think you could have communicated out this a little bit better. I think that you're right, and I didn't. But can we just get my in the car and talk about it on the way? All right, come on, let's go. I started to get in trouble when I turned 18. You know, we all used to party in high school and just kind of never stopped. In 2016, I had gotten caught up with uh, meth and GHB. They gave me six years probation. I stopped reporting, so they put me on a blue warrant. I was on uh, Tarrant County's top 10 most wanted for a little while. Cops raided my house. They found a lot of drugs. They found several guns. They found me. <laughs> If I hadn't got arrested, um, I would either be dead or I would still be doing the same thing. I'm so thankful um, that I went to prison. So what are we doing? Where are we going? We're going home. Going home? Where's home? To your place. Well, where was Mr. Weenie going to take you? To my place? Yeah. He's going to drive you to my house and get beat up at my house. <laughs> That's how the cookie crumbles. So what did, what happened to him? The cops came, the fire truck came, the ambulance came, and I walked away because I don't want to be around cops. I just got out of prison, and uh, I can't afford to get in trouble because, you know, I'm on parole for the next 15 years. Why have you been being funny with me since you've been in the half hours? And you just really ain't been communicating with me, but you communicate with some other dude to come get you. I'm going to be in the real world now with a relationship and me just getting out. Like, that's stressful. Oh, you was going to have other relationships? No, I told you he's just my friend, and all he was going to do was come pick me up. My intentions were never to make Kevin jealous. That's not what I was trying to do. I'm not really into playing games like that. Everything looks so much different. It's crazy. Yeah, a lot has changed. Have you seen that? The pallet bar? No. I know that I'm definitely going to have to earn his trust back, and I know it's probably not going to be, you know, super easy for me, but I'm willing to put in the work because, you know, I really do care about him, and I'm not going to let him go easy. I am committed to him. So what is your plan for the day now? And I'm lost I right mean, now. I mean, I want to go home with you. That's where I'm paroling to. I mean... Why wouldn't you just... Have me come get you. Because I wanted just a second to breathe. It's not like I was like intentionally trying to treat you any type of way, and I feel like uh, well, my feelings have been hurt. And... and I'm sorry. Like all I can do is show you. You know, I'm. That's all I can do. Apologizing like she should. You know, at this point, I'm pretty invested. We've been together a little over four years, but I'm still not over. Home sweet home. Little Miss Tiffany, yeah. causing all these problems. Yep, that's me. My middle name's Trouble. Oh, man. Get some lights on and stuff. Yeah, this is the crib, you know. It looks nice. This is the uh, room of love right here, you know. The what? Room of love oh, right here, gosh. you know. It's kind of scary to say the word love because we still are fresh in our relationship. Like, 
outside of prison. So I'm gonna drink some, you wanna sit down? Uh, I definitely wanna yeah, sit down. Yeah, come sit down, down and chill. But just being out and being around him now, like, I am attracted to Kevin. I think he's super funny. He's got an amazing personality, great lips, really pretty eyes, so cute. I think he's, you know, just adorable. Let's try to keep the uh, surprise to the minimum. I would appreciate it. <laughs> you got more plans, I don't know. About. I feel like I'm pretty open with Kevin, but um, everybody has skeletons in their closet. No more surprises. Me and you are gonna try to make this work, then we just need to cut out everybody else. Maybe we can have lunch and then dinner sometimes. Damn dog, y'all done woke Tiffany up. Wakey, wakey. You ready to eat? I got some food later and stuff. Yeah. Okay, get your ass <laughs> All right. First time in a long time I've been able to sleep in. Sleeping with, with the lights off and nobody yelling. <laughs> no snoring bunkies. My first night out of the halfway house staying with Kevin was really good. I think you might have been snoring. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, you was cutting down trees a little bit. No, sweet. I was not. Yes, you were. Me and Kevin did have sex, and it was really good. Yeah, come on in. I got something good for you. I was just um, really nervous because it was a long time coming. No pun intended. <laughs> Love scrambled eggs. Got some coffee and stuff. Thank you. This looks really good. I haven't had bacon in forever. Well, you know, I, I slaved away in there, you know, just for you, woman. That so, was sweet. So you can, you know, have something <laughs> nice this morning, you know? Too much sleep last night. All I can say is we had a great time, and we have a good relationship, you know, sexually, for sure. It's so good. So did you enjoy yourself last night? Yeah, I'm really glad that, you know, we talked about everything and glad that I'm here. The reason I stopped um, communicating with Kevin so much is because, you know, I was scared and I'm not sure that I can even make Kevin settle down or if that's something that he wants. So that's something that we definitely need to talk about and discuss. You know, I ain't gonna lie, though, you know, yesterday I didn't really think it would end up like that at the beginning of the day when I first got down there. I feel like if, you know, me and you were gonna do this and try to make this work, then we just need to cut out everybody else. Well, Both of us. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do, right? Hopefully we can move forward. Right on. <laughs> going on. My ex-girlfriend, Kayla, she keeps calling and texting. I haven't really been talking to Kayla in a while, and, uh, Trying to keep it that way for as long as possible. Tell me what's up. I told, yes. I told you I would later. Why like, that? Go. Oh. Be real with me, and that you got enough bitch. Why you keep hiding the bitch? I'm just concerned that it could scare Tiffany off. So you you done eating? You, you didn't like your food? I don't know. I think I'm just nervous about today. You know. There's gonna be some more drama tonight. It better not be. So you gonna stay out of trouble? Of course. Right. I have to. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Definitely. All right, well, I gotta go get ready. Gotta get myself together, too. Now ain't the time to be telling Tiffany about Kayla and, and how she can be. Figure out, give me a different little shirt on or something, you know? There's a time and a place for everything. Oh, great. Hello? Hey, what's up? What's going on? I can't even lie. Um, I'm not even really ready to just cut Kayla out of my life. Uh, I guess it's just being selfish. Might go get in a little self-selfish. But uh, I got feelings for Tiffany, so I want to try to see where our relationship goes in the future. What are you up to today? Just uh, doing some family Yeah, I don't know how that goes. Normally, if Kayla finds out I'm talking to somebody, she'll do whatever she has to do to put a stop to it. So it's, you know, it has to be handled a certain way. So it's, you know, it has to be handled a certain way. But yeah, I'm tired of the mother man, and uh, I got some shit I got to do today. And then. Maybe we can have lunch or something and dinner sometime. Okay, well, I'll let you know. All right. All right. She's just unpredictable, man. There's no telling what Kayla could do or say. 
kind of a dangerous thing. Yeah, 